This is Ryan Brown for mockquestions.com. In today's video, we will be discussing five staff auditor interview questions. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer, these questions are not guaranteed to be asked at your interview. I've pulled all of today's questions and answers from our website, mockquestions.com. Now let's get started. Question number one, why do you want to be an auditor? This question is a way for the interviewer to find out a little bit about what makes you tick. Be honest and direct. Don't give a phony answer that the interviewer will see through. Since I was young, I've always liked math and have been good with numbers. I took an accounting class in high school and really enjoyed it. The concepts came naturally to me as I researched careers in accounting. Auditing really appealed to me because it is almost like being an accounting detective. I think working as an auditor will be a great way to apply my skill set in math and accounting to an exciting career. Question number two, what qualities or skills do you believe a good auditor should possess? This question is a good opportunity to show you have an understanding of what qualities make a good auditor. Some key areas to hit are ethics, ability to interact with clients, ability to limit mistakes, and ability to get to the correct answer. First and foremost, I believe an auditor should be honest and have great integrity. Without this, it will be impossible for the person to perform the role effectively. Next, the auditor should have the education and technical skills to perform the job. They should have exceptional people skills as they will be required to communicate effectively with clients, colleagues, and external parties. Finally, they should have an inquisitive mind and a keen attention to detail. Question number three, what is the purpose of audit documentation? This is a technical question to see if you are able to articulate the information that is gathered in the field to support the audit. According to auditing standards, the two primary purposes of audit documentation are to provide evidence to support the auditor's conclusion and to provide evidence that the audit was planned and performed appropriately. There are a couple of important purposes of audit documentation. First, the documentation needs to support the conclusion that the auditor reached in the audit report. Secondly, the documentation serves as evidence that the audit was planned and performed in accordance with generally accepted auditing standards. Question number four, identify a time when you made a mistake and the actions you took to correct it. Everyone makes mistakes, so don't be tempted to say you don't. This is a good opportunity to show that you don't let a bad situation become worse. It is an opportunity to speak to your honor and integrity. One time at internship last summer, I caught a formula error in a file that I had already sent to a client. Even though I was embarrassed, I knew that the mistake needed to be corrected. I immediately told the intern manager what had happened and asked for her advice. We called the client and explained what had happened and they were fine with us sending the corrected file. Question number five. During an audit, you discover one of the firm's largest clients uses a questionable methodology to value receivables. What would be your course of action? This is an opportunity to highlight your integrity and honesty. The high level answer should be obvious that the concern must be addressed immediately. If I was working on an audit and discovered a practice that I found questionable, I would immediately voice my concern to the audit manager. As a new auditor, perhaps I was misinterpreting the situation. If not, my manager would provide good counsel on next steps to resolve the situation. The most important thing is to be honest and ethical, two character traits that I am proud to say I possess. Thank you for watching. If you want more staff auditor interview questions, then head over to mockquestions.com today and get started.